the first time in a week, neighbors in a Lacombe subdivision have water again, but after seven days without it, they still can't use it without boiling it. They lost the water during last week's freeze, and the fear is it could happen again if or when it freezes. WGNO's Rick Gogrieve is here with differing opinions on who's at fault. Rick. Susie and Kurt, for some of these residents this past week, has been nothing short of disastrous. Finding simple tasks impossible to complete due to this lack of water. Some residents say this is not the first time an issue like this has arised in the area. However, local leaders say they want to make sure it will be the last. Showering, cooking, washing, and other simple daily tasks became impossible for some residents of the Forest Glen subdivision in Lacombe following a water utility issue that began last Monday during the freeze that left them completely without water pressure. I had to go um, and take a shower at my mother's house because she lives in Slidell. I live here in Lacombe because they still had water pressure and everything in Lacombe. This was pathetic that went on with us. I haven't had a shower since Sunday night because we have no water pressure. Not this on the Sunday before, yes, before the hard freeze. As for what led to this dramatic drop in water pressure, Darren Johnson, the CEO of the subdivision's water utility company, Parks Water, says it was due to excessive water usage by residents during the hard freeze. They just ran hot coal taps, tub taps, sink taps, faucets, everything in the world they could run to keep all their pipes from busting, and it just drained the water out of the water system. It depressurized it. After hearing from residents that similar incidents have occurred in the past, Councilman Joe Impostato says that he's made it a priority to fix the current crisis and then to make sure it doesn't happen again. We're going to work with our administration to come up with a plan to try to solve this in the future. We're also going to do an emergency moratorium to stop any additional building in the area so nobody else is going to be put in that situation and become more vulnerable. As of January 22nd, the water is back and running. However, this time with a boiled water advisory, leaving residents continuing a battle they hope will end soon. It, it's, yeah, I have some water right now. But as far as taking a shower or brushing your teeth, I still can't use the water for that. Parks Water owner Darren Johnson says he hopes to get the tested water results back on Wednesday, which, if positive, would remove the boiled water advisory for the subdivision.